Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So here we will talk about the differences between the primary wound healing and the secondary wound healing. And here we have uh, pictures as examples for the two types. So in the first picture is an example of the primary wound healing. As we can see that the wound edges are approximated together and they are left until they healed like that. And in the second example, the wound is left without any procedure done to it and it is left like this, which turned into this and finally healed like this, which is an example of the secondary wound healing. So let, let's explain each of them now. So regarding the primary wound healing, it is also called healing by primary intention. The wound edges are brought together, as we mentioned, closely and held in place using sutures, staples, or any type of folding method to hold the wound edges together until they heal. And this method is used for clean wounds and wounds with minimal tissue loss. So for example, if we have this wound, uh, we try to approximate the edges of the wound, which are those. We try with sutures maybe, and we would get this wound after we approximate it together. And we, left, we leave it like that for uh, some time and it would heal. The result of this healing is that the wound looks good with the minimal scar formed in this method. And it takes about 10 days to heal depending on the body parts affected and depending on the blood supply to that part. And examples are the surgical wounds. So this is an example of a surgical wound that healed by primary wound healing after the edges are approximated and stabled. Regarding the secondary wound healing, it is also called healing by secondary intention and it is used for large wounds that cannot be sutured or wounds with a lot of soft tissue damage or contaminated wounds. And the wound left open without surgical closure and granulation tissue which consists of blood vessels and connective tissue forms and fill up the wound with time and fibrous tissue forms finally. So if we have this wound, for example, we have a lot of soft tissue loss and we can't approximate the edges of the wound together. So we leave it to heal by secondary intention. And the wound would start to fill up with the granulation tissue here and it would fill up until after some time it would uh, heal eventually. Uh, sometimes the wound we have we have enough soft tissue for the wound to be approximated but the wound is contaminated there is some type of contamination in the wound and we cannot close it because when once we close this wound the this contamination uh, it has some types of bacteria and especially then anaerobic bacteria, when we close the air of the wound, the anaerobic bacteria grows and it would lead to uh, inflammation and infection of the wound. So in those two cases, the wound left open and healed by secondary intention. Uh, with secondary intention, there's extensive scarring and ugly wound and it takes weeks to heal. And examples are injuries with a lot of contamination and injuries with a lot of soft tissue loss. If the wound is large, there is a lot of soft tissue loss or the wound in location that we want it to look beautiful, we use the delayed primary closure. This method is done for contaminated wound and wound with excessive tissue loss to heal by the primary healing method. So we basically, we clean the wound and debride it and then we wait two days and then re-debride re and re-clean again of the wound and primary tissue closure is done with sutures or if there is a lot of soft tissue loss, which we use skin grafting. So here we have a table to compare them. So in the primary healing, this, the wound is small, clean with minimal tissue loss and we try to approximate the edges with sutures. While in the secondary healing, the wound is larger, irregular, and significant tissue loss. 
in the primary healing is minimal tissue minimal contamination while in secondary healing uh, the wound is contaminated or infected sometimes in primary healing the, the wound heals in a few weeks while in secondary healing it heals in weeks to months and in primary healing there is minimal granulation tissue while in secondary healing the granulation tissue fills the wound from bottom to up and finally in primary healing there is minimal scarring and the scar is thin while in secondary healing the scar is more noticeable and it has raised thick edges and with that we reached the end of this video thank you guys for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and if you want to support us more you can buy subscribing to the patreon link provided in the description of this video thank you for watching peace